Hey guys, I hope you're having a rad day. I thought I would do a more badass look today and if you guys know me, you know this is right up my alley. I just posted this photo on Instagram about an hour ago and judging by your immediate response, I take it you're feeling it too. I thought that I would stay up a little bit later tonight and get through this voiceover so that you guys can have a video tomorrow or today. If I sound a little bit tired, it's because I am, but a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do and I love you so I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of sleep. I'm pretty stoked with how this turned out so let's get started. I'm starting out by applying the Milani eyeshadow primer all over my lids followed by a nice layer of MAC's soft ochre paint pot with my fingers. I kind of like to use a primer in addition to a base sometimes because I feel like it really makes a look pop, especially when I'm working with mattes. I'm going to take a little bit of Max Cork on a fluffy crease brush and I'm going to focus it just in my crease as a transition shade. And then I'm going to take this really nice cool toned gray eyeshadow by MAC, it's called Scene, and I'm going to sort of apply it a little bit below cork with a blending brush. This is one of my all time favorite MAC eyeshadows by the way, I love putting this all over the lid. Now I'm taking this Jordana eyeshadow in Creamy Vanilla and I'm going to pack it all over the lower half of my eyelid. I want the shade to really stand out so I'm really packing it on. Now with a smaller definer brush, I'm going to go back into the crease with Scene and I'm also going to drag this shade to the inner and outer corners of my eye and I'm going to leave the middle completely clean so that you can see that Jordana eyeshadow peeking through. This is a pretty awesome technique and it looks absolutely gorgeous with shimmer shades as well. I have a look coming up where I use the same technique but with more shimmery eyeshadows. And the reason I left quite a bit of this part in the video is so that you can see how long it takes to get it to where I want it. I'm just building up the color and being really patient. Patience is absolutely key when it comes to the perfect blending job. Patience is your virtue. And now I'm taking a bit more cork and I'm placing it above scene where it originally was and I'm just doing this to kind of boost it up a little bit because I feel like it got kind of lost with all the blending that was going on. It also makes for a lovely gradient effect. So I'm going back in with that Jordana eyeshadow and I'm touching up the center of my eyelid as well as adding a bit of it to my brow bone for a little extra definition. So far this is looking alright, but we want to take it to the next level, so I'm taking a bit of carbon on the same small definer brush and I'm just going to go over the same places where I blended scene. Again, I'm going into the crease as well as the inner and outer corners of my eyes and I'm doing this with very little product and I'm being very light handed because I still want that cool toned grey from scene to show through. We don't want to be losing that. And again, we are staying the hell away from the center of the lid, keep that clean. And now I'm going to move on to eyeliner and I'm taking a little bit of this Lime Crime eyeliner in Blue Milk and I'm doing my typical dramatic winged eyeliner. I'm not going to lie, using the applicator that it comes with was a pain in my ass. I usually prefer to use my own brush but I was being a little bit lazy. I'm basically doing a thinner black eyeliner below it, following the exact same shape. I use the Physician's Formula 2-in-1 Felt Tip Eyeliner, which was such a struggle because it didn't provide a smooth application over top of the Lime Crime Eyeliner, and I think it's because I had to do so many layers of it. If I could turn back time, I would have totally used a different eyeliner, but once I started, I felt committed and I'm super stubborn, so I was like, I'm gonna make this work, girl. For false lashes today, I'm using the Red Cherry 47s, which are a new favorite, their boss. And then with the NYC liquid eyeliner, I'm just gonna cover up that glue that hasn't yet dried because it's a peeve of mine when it's showing. And then I'm gonna adhere my natural lashes to my false lashes with the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. 
I'm also going to run a little bit of scene to my bottom lash line and then with a flatter brush I'm going to also run some carbon right up against my lash line. Then I'm using a little bit of Maybelline's gel eyeliner in my waterline and then I'm going to take this shimmery eyeshadow by MAC, I don't remember the name but I will include it in the description bar and I'm going to apply a little bit of it to my tear ducts to open up my eyes. Because the eyelids are so matte, a little bit of sparkle will totally balance out this look. And now I'm taking a bit of this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light, which by the way is the new love of my life for under eyes, and I'm applying it to, you guessed it, my under eyes. To liven up and contour my face a bit, I'm using this NYC bronzer, and I'm going to apply it with a tulip brush because it was the fastest choice at that moment. So I'm starting out with my cheekbones, and then I'm dragging it up to my temples and my forehead, and I'm pushing it right into my hairline because my scalp is straight up on some Casper shit. For blush, I am using my favorite blush in the entire universe, and it is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Gentle. It is absolutely beautiful on all skin tones. I always rave about it. And then I'm sort of diffusing it out with a stippling brush. Now, for the lips, you guys can keep this totally natural, but you know how I roll. Go big or go home, so I'm gonna line my lips with this black Lee Swatier eyeliner. Yep, black eyeliner. Boom. Hold up. Ho ho ho. I must ask you a question. Applying a black eyeliner to my lips first will allow me to do the ombre look that I'm going for. Now I'm taking this matte OCC lip tart in Roller Girl, which is a true purple shade, and I'm just gonna blend it into the black eyeliner until it starts to kind of look like a natural transition I'm sort of just going back and forth between the black eyeliner and the lip tar, so again, patience is key to build up that nice transition between the two shades. There's actually a much more dramatic way to achieve this ombre lip, which I'll show you in a future video. And as you can see, I'm really great at holding things directly in front of the lens. <laughs> So now that I'm happy with the black and purple gradient situation, I'm going to fill in the rest of my lip with the OCC Lip Tar. And then I'm taking the MAC Amplified Viva Glam Nikki 2 lipstick and I'm going to place it directly in the center of my lips. And again, taking the OCC Lip Tar, I'm going to be blending their edges into one another until I'm satisfied. So that completes my look. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it. I love me a good graphic eyeliner and a bold lip. You know this. If you guys recreate this look and have Instagram, don't forget to hashtag the beauty vault so I can stalk your life and see it. As per usual, all of the products that I use will be listed in the description box below along with all of my social media platforms. So holla at you girl. If you haven't yet subscribed, I'm sure my shenanigans here will definitely persuade you to click that button. I'll just be here doing this, apparently. <laughs> thank you guys very much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in my next video. I love you. Bye!